What's up, guys, gals, and everybody in between? It's your girl, Hunter Sky here, HSW Wrestling, and welcome back to AEW Fight Forever Custom Universe Mode, episode 23. We're starting the go-home shows, going into our next pay-per-view, which is our first full actual pay-per-view, which will be all out. Um, this is the Dynamite Go Home Show. Uh, every match on here except this one. And the main event is contender matches. Uh, tonight's main event. Um, FTR will be defending the uh, AEW World Tag Team titles against Dark Order. So whenever that match gets completed, whoever wins that will go on to All Out to face whoever wins the Rampage side of contenders because there's no point for the Dynamite side having contenders when the championship's being defended on Dynamite. There will also be twenty episode twenty four will be uh Rampage's go home show. Twenty five will be um all out. But in between uh after twenty four I'll post on Dark whoever wins between uh the world title contenders. Also I wanna say another thing before we get into it. Um <clears throat> Sam Punk was just recently fired by AEW. He's one of my all-time favorites. I'm not going to get into too much detail or nothing. But the only reason I'm really mentioning that, just because he got fired, doesn't mean that I'm not going to have him on the show. As I also have Cody on this show, or anybody else that gets fired. Because, I mean, we're going to keep him on here. The roster's kind of small on here. I have, like... I think I have less than 30 uh, wrestlers on each show. That's male and female. So let's get on and get into it. So... Hikir Shida is 3-2, and two, fighting Abaddon. This is just a normal match. Is set for no implications oh. whatsoever. Damn, one held a singles match. Making her way to the ring, Hikaru Shida! And Turbo Abaddon! I'm playing as Sheeta. I'm excited that we're getting uh, closer to our first ever uh, pay-per-view. Um, every championship will be on the line, and since it's uh, an actual pay-per-view instead of a battle of the belts, I will be having a uh, casino battle royal. This time it'll be for the women. So. The women will start the show and main event the show. So whoever wins the Casino Battle Royal will go on to face the uh, whoever wins the TBS uh, Championship match next episode on Rampage. As Jade Cargill defend, I'm sorry, the AEW Women's World Title. As Jade Cargill defends that against Anna J. And next episode is the main event. She reverses that, sends her into the ropes. Yeah. Suplex into the turnbuckle. Gotta get used to these controls. I haven't played in a minute. I've also been playing a lot of uh, 2K17. Uh, WWE 2K17. Trying to uh, get through the uh, all the unlockables before whenever I start my universe mode. I'm not sure when that's going to be. It's going to be a while from now. I'm still debating if I'm going to uh, buy a camera and just record it off the TV or uh, buy a capture card. I got to look into that a little bit more. I also got to get uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 for the 360. And I also got to get my uh, copy of WWE 12 Resurface because... I had it in my Xbox, I was playing it, I was playing through Road to WrestleMania, and uh, I have a wire controller, my cat's knocked my Xbox off, the Xbox is fine, it has a scratch on it, but um, it kind of ruined the disc, it still plays, but the audio doesn't play anymore, so I'm going to have to get that fixed, well let's get back into this match, 
Cheetah's pretty much dominating. That's not much of a shocker. And she picks her up for a suplex. Axe handle. Abaddon pushes her off. Another suplex. There goes Sheeta. Picks her up about Falcon Zero. Going on for another Falcon Zero. And an easier finisher. Sheeta wants to end it on a high note, hitting that finisher. Crowd behind Sheeta in this one. And there goes Sheeta up for that Falcon Zero again. There goes Sheeta. Going for that shining wizard. Knocks the living shit out of Abaddon. And she's going for the pin. Is she going to get it? One. One two, two. Three. Three. And Sheeta goes four and two here on Dynamite. If Sheeta keeps winning like this, she'll be definitely in contendership for the TBS championship. So we got a three and a half star match. All right, y'all, we will be right back with our next contest, which is the uh, number one contendership for the FTW championship. And we're back here with the next matchup as Cody Rhodes goes one on one versus Sammy Guevara. Both of these men are two and one, and this is also contendership for the FTW championship. The winner of this will go on to all out to face Wardlow for that title. This bout is set for one fall. Man, this should be one hell of a singles match. Making his way to the ring is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And his opponent, they call him the Spanish God, Sammy Kukola. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm playing as Cody Rhodes in this one. Cody with a punch to Guevara, knocking him down. Take down by Rhodes. Cody's getting out of the way. Guevara comes on to the outside. Two. Suplex by Rhodes. Three. Cody gets back in the ring. Guevara is over there taunting uh, Dustin, and now he sends Dustin into the ring. Kind of a stupid since Dustin's not even part of this match. And there they go grappling up. Suplex by Cody. Knee shot by Rhodes. I mean, knee shot by Guevara knocking Rhodes to the mats. Tries to go for a suplex, but Guevara gets out of it. Both of these men are very talented, so this should be a great match. Take down by Rhodes. Elbow shot to the head. Elbow shot to the head again. 
stumps him in the uh, midsection. Another stomp to the midsection. Cody's doing push-ups, Mark and Guevara. Crowd behind Cody. Drop kick, but he misses. Now they go grapple on each other again. Suplex by Cody. Picks him up for a suplex. There goes Cody doing some more push ups, mocking Guevara. He shoves Cody off. Guevara reverses that. Guevara sends him into the uh, turnbuckle. Looks like Guevara's dancing. Take down by Ro Cody. That's called this damn man, Rody. Cody shoves him into the ropes. Now he sends him off. He's going for that Cody cutter, but he gets it. Cody's feeling it. Going for that pile driver. Uh oh, going for a roll up pin. Is Guevara going to get it off the One, pure shock? Two. And Cody gets out of it. Take down by Guevara. Guevara might have this one in the bag, possibly. Take down by Cody. Elbow shot to the head. Targeting that arm. Dustin's on the outside cheering his brother on. Face Buster. He uses his leg to do some damage to Guevara. Looks like Cody's coming back though. I need to get in here after this match and edit Cody's finisher as the uh, code breaker. I don't understand why they have his preset finisher as uh, that pile driver. Because all I've ever known them doing is uh, crossroads. No matter what company he was wrestling for. Suplex. Now he shoves them all to the ropes again. Go for the second Cody Cutter of the match. Go for that pile driver again. Go for the pin. One, One two, two, three. three. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Rhodes win, and he is now the number one contender for the FTW Championship. Man, what a match. I'm so glad I was here to call it. And I got an achievement. Alright, y'all, that is a three and a half star match. Be right back with the next one. All right, y'all, and we're back with the next part. Nala Rose goes one on one with Soraya, and the winner of this match will be the number one contender for the TBS championship. If Nala wins, she can go back and get a championship shot against Britt Baker, which is the woman that she lost the title to. Nala's kind of been down on the uh, down path since she lost the championship. 
pretty much dominant besides losing to Aubrey Edwards here recently. Let's get on into the match. Also, that achievement, as you saw, was King of Hearts. I checked the uh, AEW shop, and Owen Hearts not on there, so I guess I gotta wait a while. The following contest is set for one fall. This will be an exciting match. I am not sure. Making her way to the ring. She is the native beast. Nyla. Nyla is five and two. And Soraya is three and two. And So ignore those records. Soraya looking to get an upset against Nala here. I'm playing this Soraya, by the way. Take down my Soraya. Has her in a headlock. Soraya is one of my favorites. I'm glad that she's uh, the real life uh, AEW Women's World Champion. Thought that was awesome. I kind of figured she'd win it in England. I know some people aren't happy about it, but oh well. I like what I like. Y'all like what y'all like. Take down my Soraya. And now she shows her off. Another takedown. Soraya has in that headlock. Go for that axe handle. Nala has her in takedown. The Saray gets out of it. Big chop by Saraya. Now she picks her up. Arm drag by Soraya. Axe handle. Russian leg sweep by Soraya. Tries to lift that axe handle, but she doesn't get it. Nala tries to go for a suplex, but Soraya reverses it. Suplex. Knee shot to the face. Closed line by Soraya. Take down. Headlock again. Punches to the face. Close line. Soraya is telling the crowd to kiss it. Then the arm drag. There she goes. Picks Nala up for that slam. Looks like Nala's trying to come back. Super kick by Soraya. There goes Soraya for that rampage. Is that going to be enough to put Nala away? One, two, three, and Soraya gets the upset against Nala Rose. And she is now the number one contender for the TBS Championship and will be fighting Britt Baker at All Out. It's been crazy, it's been wild. What a great match we've had tonight. Got a four-star match. I guess that's the most impressive match of the night so far. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next matchup will be number one contendership for Dynamite's contender for the world title. All right, y'all, and we're back as we have the Dynamite contendership for the AEW World Championship. John Moxley goes one-on-one -on -one with Sting. John Moxley is four and two, and Sting is three and two. Also, 
John Moxley is rocking one of the new attires that uh, they put in the game. They put like a shit ton of attires for Moxley. There's one for Sting. I haven't uh, put it on him yet. I still got to go through all of them. They put a lot in there, especially for Mox. Like I, I think he has like, like six attires now. So I decided to go with this one. The following contest is set for one fall. This is going to be an exciting match. Making his way to the ring. Jan Moxley. And his opponent. This is Sting. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing as Sting. Sting, definitely one of my favorites. He's both of these men have had lots of opportunities for contenderships, but neither one of them could get the job done. The winner of this will go on to face the winner of Brian Danielson and Samoa Joe. Steam pretty much in control for this one. Punch to the back by Moxley. Sting pushes him off. Take down my Sting. Has him in a headlock. Take down. Another headlock. Another takedown. Has him in the headlock. Tries to go for the axe handle. Mox gets out of the way. Big punch by Mox, but Sting gets out of the way for that. Goes for that suplex. Suplex on the Stinger. Suplex by Sting. Sting sends him into the uh, corner. Go for that Stinger slash. There goes Sting for the Scorpion Death Drop, but he reverses it. Go for that Suplex down to Sting. Is Mox going to come back and win this thing? Fix him up for that power... Oh, I'm power slam, I'm sorry. I legitimately just said power bomb. That was pretty embarrassing. Here he goes. Take down by Sting. Sting reverses that. Go for another suplex. Mox shows him off. DDT by Sting. Sends him off the ropes into the turnbuckle. Go for the second Stinger splash. Sting's going to accept, go for the second uh, Scorpion Death Drop. It looks like he's going to get it this time. Is this going to be enough to put Mox away? Go for the win. One, two, two three. three. And Sting is now your Dynamite contender for the AEW World Championship. The 
winner of this match, this is Steve. What an amazing match we've had tonight. Got a three and a half star match out of this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with tonight's main event. All right, y'all. Now it's time for the main event. I'm going to do that on every uh, Universe Mode episode for this going forward, like Mark Henry does on Rampage. FTR will be defending the AEW World Tag Team Championships against Best Friends. Best Friends actually got a big upset victory the last time these uh, two teams faced. So, FTR is 6 and 2, and the Dark Order is 1 and 3. Dark Order not having a good championship. Uh, contendership but it looks like they're number one contenders right now so we're going to see what happens best friends have not had a good record the following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and it is for the AEW World Tag Team Championship this is going to be an exciting tag team match introducing the champions at T Introducing the challenger, Best Friends. We're starting out with Cash Wheeler and Chucky T. Chucky T gets a uh, neck breaker. Looks like uh, Trent's in the match for the first time. All four men are in the ring now. I guess Cash going after uh, Trent. Crowd chanting uh, Cash. He picks him up for that spawn buster. There he goes for his finisher. Is this going to be enough to put him away? Trent's pretty much done for, but Chucky gets back in the ring. Suplex by Trent. He's going over that suplex. Stomping on the head of Trent. Headshot by Cash. And now he's tagging in uh, Scott. I mean, not Scott, Dax. Dax Hardwood, not Scott Dawson. No telling what happened to that man. I really just didn't say that. Going after that leg. Hit some of that elbow. Picks him up for that power bomb. Is that going to be enough to put him away? Picks him up for that power slam. Going for that neck breaker. A combo of moves to uh, Trent. I 
knee to the face by Dax. Headbutt. Going after that power bomb. And here he goes. Going for that brain buster. Is that going to be enough for the win? One. Not even a one count. <clears throat> As his tag team partner breaks it up, it looks like Chucky e. T's in the match for the first time. Now it looks like we're having an FTR beat down as they're beating the living hell out of them. Going after Chuck Taylor. Sends him into the ropes. Chucky e. T into the midsection. Looks like we got a double team on uh, Dax. Looks like both, both members of Best Friends were in the ring. Close on by Trent. Oh, got that senton. Is that going to be enough to put him away? And he kicks out. We almost had new World Tag Team Champions. Going for that eight defeat. And now Trent's just punching the hell out of Dax. Go for the pinfall. One. But Cash is there to break it up. Now he shoves him off. Go for that suplex into the ring. Elbow drop. Another leg drop. Take down. <laughs> Picks him up with that power bomb. One for the pin. One. One. Two. two. Enough but a count of two. Gets that drop kick. Sends him into the ropes. Sends him off. Over the top rope. Oh! Sends on to the outside. And now he picks him up with that pile driver. Dax's neck it must be fucked up. Now all four men are fighting on the outside of the ring. Suplex to the mat. Go for that suplex. Uh oh. Oh, and this might be it. We might have a new uh one. one. Two, oh my god, the best friends won the tag championships. The what the hell just happened? I cannot believe this. FTR loses to the best friends. Wow. That is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. What a shocker. So, best friends will be defending the, their first title defense 
against whoever wins against the Lucha, Bro Lucha Bros and the Hardy Boys. That's it from here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.